This is Code.org. I'm working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 5, Building Apps, Lesson 4, Controlling Memory with Variables, Part 4, Variables Toolbox. Let's get started with the most with the most basic example of using controlling of using and controlling the computer's memory with variables. The toolbox has a couple of new commands for working with variables. We've given you the starter code that does three things. Creates a variable called score, yep. Assigns the value 0 to score, yep. Displays the value of score to the council. See hint below about quotes. Okay, so how we know it's displaying a variable, and remember the council is this thing down here, right? It's not going to be shown on the screen. A council is usually used by programmers to kind of debug things. But so council.log, which is a JavaScript, this is JavaScript, uh, show score. This is considered a string. So this is going to be printed directly. The value of the score is, is going to be printed directly. That's why there's quotes around it. Quotes mean string. There's no quotes around this because it's not a string. It's going to print what score is equal to. And right now, score is equal to zero. But uh see down here it says zero? Yep. So let's see. You're going to add another variable. Uh, assign it a value and then display it on the console. Use the starting code as a model for what you need to create now. Create a new variable by dragging out the var block. Change the name of the variable from the default x to lives. Ooh, that makes sense. See the animation at the right. Set the value of lives to 3. Add council.log message to show the value of lives. Okay, so let's start back from the top. Create a new variable. We need var to declare a variable. I'm going to do this right under score. And then where did they do it? Oh, they did at the bottom. I'll do it where they did. All right. Lives. And now I'm going to drag this. And now I have this thing, this variable lives, but it's not equal to anything. It's just existing in my computer's memory. So now I'm going to say lives equals three. All right. Add a console dot log message to show the value of lives. All righty. So I'm dragging this out. And I'll do like they did with the string first. The value of lives is... So, and by string, I mean the quotes around it. And the quotes mean it's going to print exactly what's in here, right? So it prints it word for word. Now, this won't have any quotes because it's a variable, lives, and it's going to print what lives is equal to, to the council. Let's test. There we are. Perfect. Awesome. Let's uh let's keep going. But this is the code that was working for me.